Out here now, Damian Priest and the Archer of Infamy is a man of impressive agility and outright devastating offense. Calculating and cool, Damian Priest leans on his martial arts background, ensuring each move is forceful and consequential. Absolutely, Byron. And any opponent that ends up on the receiving end of Priest's offense will end up battered and bruised. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Since Titus made it to the ring without sliding under the apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw in the ring. Titus's strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, there's no denying that strategy has served him well in the past. Slam! What punishment being dealt from Titus O'Neil? This is where that calm of Priest will be tested. Cover! And the referee stops the count before two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Titus gets fended off. Priest finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Priest was being tested, but he's now able to get some offense of his own in. Damian Priest is quite the arsenal of offense in his back pocket. What will the Archer of Infamy need to pull out to best his opponent tonight? It's tough to nail down just one thing. Priest is well-rounded, but I suspect his martial arts background will come into play tonight. Priest with the elevated flatliner. There's the Archer of Infamy hitting the bullseye. And rarely is he off target. If the count had been even a millisecond faster, things would be over. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. He's taken is starting to pile up. Vicious knee drop. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Counter. And now 